I'm Ray Bowling. I'm with Swan Flux, uh, based out of South Carolina. And uh, I'm showing off my first Eurorack module. It's called the Biggest Foot. Uh, it comes in a green panel to start out with. Uh, but there's also a black panel. And it's, it's a CV controller that uses um, recycled gaming balance boards. So I've got this one on the floor, uh, which is currently the only supported one I'm trying to work on the third party versions but um, they're abundant uh, there's millions of them already ready to go and you probably already own one and so I wanted to make use of them because I kept finding them in thrift stores and uh, so yeah for this module you can get your center of mass here on the display and it outputs CV in either unipolar or bipolar to control other stuff um, so one of the most practical ways to use that is to make a voice more expressive because you can sort of decouple your pressure that would maybe normally be on like this is a pressure sensitive controller I could have used but now I don't have to think about where my fingers exactly are and your hands are free to do other things. So this patch is currently set up so that the stereo panning is on the front, going through two VCAs. Um, and I've pre-recorded something, which will play back when I turn the crossfade up. When it's about halfway, I can blend the two and move that recording around, speed it up, slow it down. I can get a little less bleed by turning dead zone up. which really helps isolate stuff because I've currently got the reverb on the back. So when I lean back, I'll get a longer reverb tail. So it's, it's useful to be able to do things like that without having to really think. Uh, <laughs> and I love it when I forget that it's there. And then it's something that we're kind of already doing as musicians. Uh, you, you feel the groove and then you're like, and then it actually starts to respond and do it with you. <laughs> the first time I got the prototype working, I laughed and it laughed with me. And, it, <laughs> and then I started laughing more. It's like a feedback loop. Um, so I mean, it, it's, it ends up really kind of being an extension of yourself, like, a, like an acoustic instrument in a way. Yeah, it, does, it sort of makes things more acoustic. Um, there's a few other things like I could take the clock. Uh, coming from over here and plug it into this clock source and then you get how many steps do you want the loop to synchronize with so I can make it like faster would be one clock step and then of course you can blend the two uh, if I hit the board button it actually disables the board and then our little uh, cryptid character named Lefty <laughs> sort of takes over so he's like a random source you can control the speed of and the combination of pre-recorded that's synced and sort of, uh, you know, user input and a little bit of randomness. It allows you to not have to take the board absolutely with for every session and still get usefulness out of the module. Right. Because the boards are 10 pounds each. <laughs> and I don't always want to take it with me. Um, that's really it in a nutshell, I think. No, wait, wait. There's one more thing. If I hit a uh, shift trigger it turns the loop into a one shot and then uh, let's see I have to take the clock or something out of this keyboard controller and now I'll get my recording so let me make one that's a little bit longer and record it All right, now it'll play back a complex envelope, right? And I can move it around uh, combined. Anyhow, it's, uh, <laughs> it's calibrated to your weight, so every time you hit the button on the board, you get this little calibration thing. So it's really tuned to like your body, and 
that which changes like on a daily basis but you'll get you get used to it the more you use it i've found all sorts of weird ways to use it like the most intuitive thing to do is put left and right on panning left and right but you don't even have to do that you could make panning uh, forward and back or like because you actually get like more motion sideways than you do forward ways and i don't know the more i've used it the more it's really made me think and I mean, I'm a musician first, so it, it's this has been so much about improving my performance. Yeah, uh, it's great. Thank you. Hey, that's great. So, as far as availability, are you in produce production now? Or? Yeah, I'm in production now, um, selling them direct, and I'm working towards uh, having enough to make it um, attractive for retail. And you know, it's just, I'm just starting out. I just got them done like last month. So does it just work with an off-the-shelf controller? You don't need to modify? Yeah, this modify. is off-the-shelf. It's not hacked or modified in any way. In fact, when you turn the rack off, the board automatically turns itself off. And the next time you hit that button, it'll try to repair with your Wii again. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's non-destructive. <laughs> So if people want uh, more info, where can they go? Uh, Swampflux.com. Uh, that's me. I'm also on Instagram. And uh, I've got a newsletter and a, and a Patreon. But yeah. Sounds great. Swampflux. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. Thank you. Ah!